films that surprise you, there's very rarely something more satisfying, at least for me, than going into a movie knowing little to nothing about it, probably not one you had on your radar for the year, and then it just surprises you in the best possible way. Today, I want to talk to you all about Sky Peels, this wonderful little independent, this British independent film from director Moin Hussein that tells the story of a man who's lost his father and is directionless in his life, not as a result of the loss of the father, but compounded by the by the loss of the father. I'd like to I'd like to assimilate this to to an old British film. Uh... But just before we get into that, I noticed that there's still over 90 percent of you that have not subscribed to the channel. So if you like this guy and if you like the content that I'm bringing you, please do consider hitting that subscribe button. It helps me out so much with the algorithm and it allows me to keep bringing you that content. Let's get back to it. That a lot of you, I think, have seen now called Dead Man's Shoes and yes. <laughs> if you haven't seen Dead Man's Shoes with Paddy uh, with Paddy Considine, King Viserys from House of the Dragon, in one of his breakout roles, you need to see Dead Man's Shoes. For those of you who have seen it, you'll get this. You'll get this assimilation. The reason I want to bring Dead Man's Shoes to the table here is because for me, it was one of the first movies I saw where the movie presented one thing, and it turned out to be true but have so much more to it and give you a real plot twist that made sense but also comes completely out of left field and that's where sky peels is so powerful mysterious skin by the way if we're dropping movie names that's another one you'll need to see if you haven't seen it old one really good sky peels is a lot like that so as i said it tells the story of this of, of, of this man called adam played by Faraz ayub who he's directionless. He works at a fast food restaurant at a motorway stop station called Sky Peels. He lives alone. He's very introverted. He, he's socially awkward. Not at all dislikable. Just one of those guys you would easily forget existed. You know, what? one of those sad cases where if he died the next day, would anyone's world actually stopped turning and then and it's not through any fault of his own he is just that way he's naturally quite introverted but his father's death which happens right at the beginning of the movie this is you know a crux of the movie here makes him go searching for answers and what he discovers without giving anything away highlights how he's stuck between two worlds Literally, and no, I'm not using that the word literal incorrectly like so many people do, but literally stuck between two worlds, metaphorically, like there's, there's, on, on a racial level, because that's there, there's a huge allegory about being biracial in this movie. He's got a white mother and he's got a Central Asian father. And the, the movie plays a, it tells a really interesting story about being biracial equating to not really belonging now listen i'm not biracial i can't speak to the experience of, of biracial people but there may be a lot of biracial people out there who will completely disagree with this message and say well actually i feel like i belong to both awesome <laughs> I, I can't speak to that what i can speak to is the direction that this movie goes down and this movie goes down the direction of presenting him not really belonging to either world and already being introverted and already being a social recluse, finds himself even more on the precipice and in, in limbo. It's really quite a brilliant story. And it's not for want of people trying to get him involved. You know, there's these brilliant scenes with this new boss of the restaurant who wants to make him the customer relations manager. And he's like, this is not the role for me. There's this uh, this character called Tara who comes in, played by Natalie Gavin, who, who clearly wants to have some sort of friendship, question mark, maybe more with him. And he's just a bit, he's a bit standoffish about the whole thing. And it's because all the time he's searching for the truth. He's and the, the the truth being, he wants to find out. Well, where do I actually belong, man? Like, where do I actually belong? 
Am I white? Am I Central Asian? I feel like I belong nowhere. It's quite tragic in that sense. And the subtlety with which Faraz Ayub plays this role, it's it's really going to stay with me for a long time. Like, it's, it's beautifully shot, ve- almost has a kind of Michael Mann quality to it. Like when I think Michael Mann, I think uh, specifically collateral Michael Mann. There's a very, very distinctive color palette that's being used here to convey emotions. It For me, this film worked. I have a feeling it's not going to be on a lot of people's radars. And that's why I've come to the party. I'm hoping that discussing some of, some of the themes, discussing a bit of the character's mindset and discussing a little bit what it's about, that it's put the movie on your on your radar because it's it's one of my favorites this year. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to score Sky Peels 8 out of 10. I thought the performances were really quite brilliant in terms of what was being asked of them, as in downplay your emotions, play the social introvert. I thought the secondary and tertiary characters added a lot of tapestry to 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 the uh, to the movie and i thought the the way the plot unfolded to answer the question of where does he belong which is where the whole movie drives towards again on a lytical allegorical and metaphorical level it worked for me i still would have liked this movie if the plot unfolding hadn't worked and I, i'm being like secretive here because it's it's a big plot twist like it's a dead man's shoes level plot twist which i alluded to at the beginning like you need to see this film man like add it to your lists check this one out i have a feeling you'll enjoy it and once you have seen it be sure that you let me know down below what you thought of this i still see as many as 90 of you not subscribing to this video so please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already there's a subscribe button right over here for you guys to check out there is another video for you to watch up here for you to look at and yeah just keep it right here on the silver screen dudes lots of reviews and lots of interviews and the top 10 show returning all in the coming days so keep it right here and i'll see you guys very soon bye for now